now dear student we are going to discuss question number 3.12 and in this question it is given to you a ball is dropped from a height of 90 meter on a floor at each collision with the floor the ball loses one tenth of its speed plot the speed time graph of its motion between t equal to 0 to t equal to 12 second clear so now concentrate on a screen so if we consider given situation a ball is dropped from a height of 90 meter so let's suppose i am taking here this situation let's suppose this is a ball and let's suppose here we have a floor clear let's suppose initially this ball is at a height this is 90 meter this is given to you in a question clear and it is dropped it means we can say initial velocity is zero clear so acceleration this is acting on this body is g meter per second square in vertically downward direction clear now after striking or after collision with the ground this ball loses one tenth of its speed fine plot the speed time graph of its motion between t equal to 0 to t equal to 12 second clear to everyone so now listen carefully first here what is our objective first we will find total time taken by this body to strike the ground clear so now you can see in the case of free falling this body is going under the actually falling under the influence of a gravity so we can apply equation of motion clear so i can write here like this s equal to ut plus half of at square clear so let's suppose i am taking this direction is positive you can take any direction positive clear so let's suppose i am taking here this direction positive or you can take let's suppose i am taking this is negative clear or better if we draw here let's suppose i am taking here this direction positive it will be comfortable to you clear so we can say total distance we have from this point a to we can say b this is equal to 90 is equal to because this is a case of a free fall so we can say initial velocity we have 0 1 by 2 into 9.8 into total let's suppose time taken is t1 square so finally we can write like this t1 square it should be equal to we can say 90 multiplied 2 divided by 9.8 clear from here you can write like this this is 4.9 so t1 square this should be equal to 90 upon 4.9 clear so if we remove decimal we can write like this this is multiplied with 10 clear so we can see t1 square this should be equal to 900 divided by 49 clear so we can see value of t1 this is given by 30 by 7 second clear to you and if we divide we can see 7428 we have so we have to so approximately we can say this is 4.3 second yes or no it means we can say total time taken by a body from a to b this is 4.3 second or we can say 30 by 7 second clear now can we find the velocity with which this ball strike to the ground clear again we can apply v equal to u plus at clear v this is our objective v1 initial velocity we have this is 0 plus we can say 9.8 and multiply time is what 30 by 7 so we can write like this 30 by 7 second clear from here you can say this is 10 this one and this one cancel out and this is 40 clear so v1 value is given 42 meter per second clear to everyone it means when this ball strike to the ground it will have a velocity 42 meter per second clear actually you can also see if we just write this expression of velocity uh, yes expression of velocity in terms of time we can say this is equal to 9.8 times of t clear so directly you can see in this region from 0 to 4.3 second we can say y is or we can say velocity is varying with the time this is linearly clear you can see we can write like this y equal to mx clear to everyone yes or no it means now can we draw here a graph yes definitely so first i am writing here important terms uh, important parameters that we have already find i am writing here t1 this is equal to 30 by 7 second or approximately we can say 4.3 second clear and we can write like this v1 this is equal to 42 meter per second clear to everyone yes or no yes now listen 
if you draw here a graph because our objective in this question is to draw graph between speed and time so let's suppose here we have time in second and this is v in meter per second clear time is given to you in second yes or no so this is given to you in second clear so from here you can say if we have time 0 from 0 to 4.3 second let's suppose here we have this is 30 by 7 second up to which we have a linear curve and we can say here we are having speed this is 42 meter per second clear so now we can see from O to this point directly we can see uh, this is a graph between t equal to 0 to t equal to 30 by 7 second clear to everyone but in this question it is also given that after striking to the ground 10 percent of its speed this loses clear so we can see loss of velocity loss of velocity we can say this is equal to 10 percent of 42 meter per second yes or no it means we can say this is equal to 4.2 meter per second clear so when this ball strike to the ground and again rebound to in uh, again rebound in an upward direction we can see uh, initial velocity we have 42 minus 4.2 clear so from here we can say this is equal to what 37.8 meter per second clear u equal to 37.8 meter per second clear to you yes or no yes exactly fine clear now here we will find the total time taken by a body to move from ground to a maximum height clear definitely we can say it will not reach it up to the same height because now its velocity decreases clear so we can write like this v equal to u plus 80 we know when this ball reaches a certain height we can see its velocity is zero we can write like this because we are taking downward direction positive so this is minus 37.8 plus we can say 9.8 multiply less suppose t2 clear so from here you can see t2 this is given by 37.8 divided by 9.8 clear to you yes or no and from here we can find approximately you will find this answer 3.9 second yes or no so if we draw this in a graph you can see at this time actually now this speed is decreases and this speed is decreases to 37.8 meter per second clear and after 3.9 second the velocity of that body becomes zero it means we can say this is 3.4.8 second if we add 3.9 second so we can say 3.9 we can say this is 8.2 second yes or no so from here you can write like this the velocity of this ball becomes zero after total 8.2 second yes or no now you can say here we will find a negative slope why negative slope because uh, if we write here general expression of a velocity we can write like this v equal to u minus gt yes or or you can say we can write like this v equal to uh, minus u plus g into t yes or no yes or no so we can see here you will find a negative slope clear to you clear yes because this is also negative because ball is going in an upward direction so v equal to u minus gt we have negative slope of a velocity clear that's why we are drawing a graph like this clear and i am also writing here time t2 this is 3.9 meter per second now exactly we have to draw here a graph between t equal to 0 to 12 second clear it means now we will move ahead clear so now we can see initial velocity we have 37 point 8 meter per second yes or no because we can see this body is actually moving in the upward direction with a velocity 37.8 and total time taken to move in an upward direction or we can say in time of ascent we have 3.9 second because if we are observing or if we are assuming the viscous force is absent or air drag is absent the time of descent is also same it means we can say if we add 3.9 second also this body again reaches to the ground clear it means we can see this body again reaches uh, with the ground with the same velocity yes or no and time is what we have to add 8.2 plus 3.9 second clear so 3.9 second means we can see 
this is equal to 12.1 second clear so we can draw a graph like this between speed and the time clear to you so i think this problem is very clear to you clear to everyone